The Siege of Harlem was an episode of the Eighty Years' War. From December 11, 1572 to July 13, 1573 an army of Philip II of Spain laid bloody siege to the city of Harlem in the Netherlands, whose loyalties had begun wavering during the previous summer. After the naval battle of Harlem or Mare and the defeat of a land relief force, the starving city surrendered and the garrison was massacred. The resistance nonetheless was taken as an heroic example by the Orangists at the sieges of Alkmaar and Leiden. The city of Harlem initially held a moderate view in the religious war that was going on in the Netherlands. It managed to escape from the reformed iconoclasm in 1566 that affected other cities in the Netherlands. When the city of Brielle was conquered by the Guzan Revolutionary Army on 1 April, Harlem did not initially support the Guzan. Most city administrators, unlike many citizens, did not favor open revolution against Philip II of Spain, who had inherited rule of the Netherlands from his father. The Holy Roman Emperor Charles V. However, after much political debate the city officially turned against Philip II on July 4, 1572. The ruler of Spain was not pleased, and sent an army north under command of Don Fadrique, son of the Duke of Alva. On November 17, 1572 all citizens of the city of Zutphen were murdered by the Spanish army, and on 1 of December the city of Narden suffered the same fate. The city administration of Harlem sent a deputation of four people to Amsterdam to attempt to negotiate with Don Fadrique. The city's defenses were commanded by city governor Wigbolt Ripperta, a commander put in charge by William the Silent, the Prince of Orange. He strongly disapproved of negotiating with the Spanish army, called the city guard together, and convinced them to stay loyal to the Prince of Orange. The city's administration was replaced with pro-Orange citizens. When the deputation came back from Amsterdam, they were convicted as traitors and sent to the prince. The St. Bob Kirk was cleared of Roman Catholic symbols the same day. Romanticized historical painting of Canal leading a group of 300 women in defense of Harlem, by Barnt Weinveld and J. H. Eichenberger, 1854 Wigbolt Ripperta inspiring the citizens of Harlem in the duel and not to give in to the Spanish army. On December 11, 1572 the Spanish army laid siege to Harlem. The city was not very strong, militarily speaking. Although the city was completely surrounded by walls, they were not in good shape. The area around the city could not be inundated, and offered the enemy many places to set up camp. However, the existence of the Harlem or Mare nearby made it difficult for the enemy to cut off the transportation of food into the city completely. In the Middle Ages it was unusual to fight in the winter, but the city of Harlem was crucial and Don Fadrique stayed and put the town under siege. During the first two months of the siege, the situation was in balance. The Spanish army dug two tunnels to reach the city walls and collapse them. The defenders made tunnels to blow up the Spanish tunnels. The situation became worse for Harlem on March 29, 1573. The Amsterdam army, faithful to the Spanish king, occupied the Harlem Mer and effectively blocked Harlem from the outside world. Hunger in the city grew and the situation became so tense that on 27th of May many prisoners were taken from the prison and murdered. On 19th of December no less than 625 shots were fired at the defensive wall between the Jansport and the Katharina Bridge. This forced the defenders to put up a completely new wall. Two city gates, the Cruisport and the Jansport, collapsed from the fighting. K. Simon Studer Hasselayer, a widow of a shipwright, aided in restoring the city fortifications during the siege. Later this would develop into a historical myth that she personally fought and even led an army of 300 women into battle. In the beginning of July William I of Orange put together an army of 5,000 soldiers near Leiden, to rescue Harlem. However, the Spanish trapped them at the manpad and defeated the army. City map of Harlem around 1550. The city is completely surrounded by a city wall and defensive canal. In the early days of the battle, the Spanish army tried an assault of the city walls, but this attempt to quickly conquer the city failed due to the insufficient preparation by the Spanish army, which had not expected much resistance. This initial victory gave the defenders' morale a big boost. Valig van Harlem a Dutch propaganda engraving of 1,573 shows mass hangings and beheadings, and cartloads of bodies flung in the river. After seven months the city surrendered on July 13, 1573. Usually, after such a siege, there would be a period of time that the soldiers of the victorious army could pillage the city, but the citizens were allowed to buy themselves and the city free for 240,000 guilders. The written assurances that had been given to the city were respected, but the whole garrison was executed with the exception of the Germans. 
40 burghers considered guilty of sedition were executed as well, the besiegers having run out of ammunition, many of them were drowned in the Sparn River. While most citizens were allowed to leave, 1,500 of the city's defenders were either beheaded or tied back to back in a pair and thrown into the river. Governor Ripperta and his lieutenant were beheaded. Don Fadrique thanked God for his victory in the St. Bavkirk. The city would have to host a Spanish garrison. Although ultimately the city could not be kept for the Prince of Orange, the siege showed other cities that the Spanish army was not invincible. This idea, and the great losses suffered by the Spanish army, helped the cities of Leiden and Alkmaar in their sieges. The latter city would later defeat the Spanish army, a major breakthrough in the Dutch revolt. In the St. Bavo church the following words can still be read, in dies groot nude, in ons u uterest elend gaven vi de stad op door hongers verbent niet dat high se en krieg met storm ender hand. In this great need, in our uttermost misery, we gave up the city, forced by hunger, not that he took her by storm. The army of Flanders was subsequently plagued by serious mutinies. Stained glass window and street. Bob Kirk by Friso ten Holt, commemorating the siege of Harlem scene of a play by Juliana de Lenoir, published in 1770. The moment when Amelia, Kenau's daughter, mourns for her husband Wigbolt Ripperta while Kenau who is angry, scolds the Duke of Alba, who has entered the room to take Peter Hasselaer into custody. Some Dutch cities celebrate their victory over the Spanish with a yearly celebration of independence, such as Alkmaar since October 8, 1573 and Leiden since 2 October 3, 1574. Harlem did not win on July 13, 1573, however, and this has made independence celebration somewhat problematic. The Siege of Harlem has been made into three plays, most notably by Juliana de Lenoir in 1770. The 2014 Dutch film Kenau depicts the siege, enhancing the legendary acts of the women defending the city. Thanks for watching.